Looking for someone, Mr. Cervantes? Uh, por favor. Never mind. <laughs> Shh. This way. Oh, good evening, Juan. Good evening. Oh, you only just made it. Si, sí, si. Sí. Well, come along into the classroom. In a momento. First, I have to go someplace. Ah, oh, well, don't you know. No. Good evening, everyone. Well, uh, I may as well warn you that I'm not in the best of humours tonight. In fact, I have a serious complaint. Why not you go to the doctor? It's not that sort of complaint, Danielle. I'm far from happy with your progress. I feel as if I'm banging my head against a brick wall. Oh, blimey. If you're doing that, you will be getting a headache. <laughs> I checked your homework last night, and frankly, I think you're getting worse. Now, Max, the correct form of address for a cardinal is not Westminster Cathedral. <laughs> I didn't know he'd moved. <laughs> that should have been your eminence. And Danielle, the word conjugate is applied to verbs and has nothing whatsoever to do with marital relations. Oh, I am sorry. And as for you, Ranjit, well, some of your answers made no sense whatsoever. That is because I'm not understanding the gist of the questions. So I'm answering different questions that I do understand. That is not the object of homework. A thousand apologies. What a Sarah. Giovanni, what time do you call this? Uh, ten past seven. You're late. Haven't you got a watch? Ah, uh, I had a watch. It was a beautiful watch. It was rust-proof, shocker-proof, waterproof, everything. The only trouble is it wasn't quite superproof. Superproof? Yeah, last night I'm working in the restaurant and whoops at the daisy, I dropped it in the sofa. My aunt, have you seen one? One what? <laughs> one Cervantes. Oh, scusi, no. Where the devil has he got to? Eh, perdon, signora. Eh, it's okay, my friend, wait here for me. Oh, I don't know about that. It's only to finish class. Oh, all right then. Do you want a cup of tea? Uh, he not speak the English good. Oh. Uh, not like me. Oh. <laughs> you wait here. No speak. No nothing. Okay. Oh. No okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right now, this evening we're going to concentrate on the alphabet. I'm going to go around the class. And I want each of you to give me a word beginning with a different letter from the alphabet. Max, we'll start with you. A or A? A desk. <laughs> no, Max, that's a D. All right, D desk. <laughs> no, Max, desk does not begin with a letter A. I want a word beginning with a letter A. A door. Good, a door. Well done. Uh, excuse, please. Yes, Ali? I'm not understanding why you are saying a desk is not right, but a door is right. Ah, oh, yes. Well, you see, when Max said a door, he was meaning the verb to a door. And although they do sound the same, he didn't mean a door. For example, this door. Am I right, Max? Sure you're right. I'm meaning any door. <laughs> At this rate, it'll take us a week to get through the alphabet. Oh, we'll try again, Max. Please give me a, a word beginning with the letter A. And I don't want A something, just one word beginning with the letter A. Think of a fruit. Apple? Apple. Good. Janielle. B. B for brown. Good. B for beautiful. Yep, yeah, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Anna, C. Red. Red. What's that got to do with C? Red C. <laughs> I want a word beginning with the letter C. Cow. Yes, well done. Taro. D. Arsenal. <laughs> Duck. Darko. Well, well, in dark. Dark. K. Yes, good. Jamila. E. Heavening. Good. Excellent. Well done. Giovanni. F. Thick. Thick. That's right. No, there's no such word as thick. Sure, there is. My boss is English and he says lots of times through thick and through thin. <laughs> Yes, well, your boss's grammar isn't very good, and don't give me the old chestnut about his grandma being very good for her age. I not say that. Good. She's dead. <laughs> Wait, 
Oh, everybody, look, there's far too much levity in this class. Don't forget that you have your exams coming up shortly. Now, try and take it seriously, please. Giovanni, a word beginning with F. Female. Good. Well done. Suli. G. Glate. Glate. As in Glate Wall of China, built by Grolier's Chinese workers. Ah, yes. Thank you, Suli. <laughs> Perdón. Ah, Juan. Well, we're just going through the alphabet. Por favor. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E. Aha, sí, alfabeto. A, B, C, D. <laughs> Uh, would you like to give me a word beginning with the letter H? Ah. Ah, sí. Pues, eh... Uh, mira, eh... Uh, por favor. <laughs> palabra. Ah, palabra. Julai. Julai? Sí. April, May, Jun, Julai. <laughs> no, well, that's a J. July. I want H. Ha. Ah, sí. Hacienda. Yeah. Well, I'll accept that. Por favor. It's all right. Doesn't matter. Sit down. Ali. I. Uh, you are what? A word beginning with the letter I. Infidel. Are you meaning me? Yes. Hi, the Sit down. Ranjit. J. Jackass. Are you meaning me? No, definitely. Not your damn head one of you, monkey face. Quiet, please. Sit down, both of you. Danielle. K. K for kind-hearted. Good. K for kiss. Mm. <laughs> Listen, I think that'll do, Daniel. Thank you. Uh, Max, L. Elephant. <laughs> now, Max, try again. Love Good. Anna, M. Meisterzinger. Camilla, N. Knitting. No, knitting begins with a K. What do you knit with? Ah, wool. Yeah. <laughs> now, what are these? Needles. Needles, excellent. Well done. Giovanni, can you give me a word beginning with the letter O? Oriful. No. <laughs> Oliday? No. Opeless? <laughs> Yes, you are. You keep dropping your aspirates. Huh? <laughs> I'll not drop nothing. No, 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 no. An aspirate is the sound made by the letter H. The words you've given me all start with H and not with an O. Scusi. I want a word beginning with O. Come on. How to sight. That's better. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, hello, Miss Dennis. Courtney wants to see you in the tea room. Ah, all right. Uh, I'll be as quick as I can. Giovanni, would you take charge of the class? Si, sí, professor. I think you'd better come too, Pedro. Por favor. <laughs> Miss Courtney's found your fishy friend. Are you going to answer me? Look, what is your name? Who are you and what are you doing here? What seems to be the problem, Miss Courtney? This is. I just came in here and found him. Well, he seems to be some sort of foreigner, but I can't get a word out of him. Is he one of yours? No, I'm not <laughs> Well, you can find out what he's doing here. After all, you do seem to have a way with these foreign persons. <laughs> oh, I'll do my best. Hello? What is your name? Name? Do you speak English? No? Parlez-vous français? Sprechen de Deutsch? Parlez italiano? Hablez espanol? Or say something, even if it's only got nothing. <laughs> Amigo! Everything's all right. Not worry, not worry. Oh, Juan, you know this person? Si. I tell you truth. He's my brother. Your brother? I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, I tell you truth. He's not my brother. <laughs> He's a good friend. We sleep together. Pardon? <laughs> not in the same bed. Oh. Same room. <laughs> Look, uh, why don't you tell me the whole story, Juan? Uh, okay, I make it a clean chest. Breast. Uh, see, but you must promise me not to tell nobody. Well, let's hear what you have to say first. His name is Boris. He's Marinero. Marinero? Si. <laughs> oh, a sailor. Sailor. Ah. Last night he came in bar where he work. He's rushing. Rushing? Si. You mean he was in a hurry? No, no. He's rushing from Russia. Oh. <laughs> a sailor, a Russian sailor. Si. We drink vodka. See, si, vodka. 
and he asked me for mental home. Asked you for what? He say, no go back Russia. Ask me for mental home. Casa de loco. <laughs> asylum, political asylum. Si, si. <laughs> he's a defector. No, he's Rucci. <laughs> You don't let him take him back, eh? Oh, no, of course not. This is a free country. If he wants to stay here, he's perfectly at liberty to do so. Uh, welcome to England, comrade. Bolshoi spasiba! Bolshoi spasiba! Silencio! What do you want? You're supposed to be studying the books. Who say so? I say so. Yeah? Look, professor is put me in charge. You got to do what I tell you. Now, I'm going to ask her the questions, and you're going to give me the answers. Okay, Koki. <laughs> Ali. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, please. What is a nauna? Oh, blimey! It is very simple. Nauna is a lady who is living in a convent. <laughs> That's a nana. Hey, Jamila. <laughs> What's the plural of a thief? Eh? The plural of a thief. A thief. Robbers. No, 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 not the robbers. Uh. Look, these are robbers. <laughs> now look, one a thief, two thieves. That's better. Max, what's the opposite of bitter? Lotter. <laughs> That's not right. Sure it is. Opposite of bitter money is lotter money. Quiet, <laughs> please. Silencio. Thank you, Giovanni. You can sit down now. Uh, Juan, I think it might be a good idea if Boris sat next to you. Eh, eh, vamos. For your uh, general information, Boris is from Russia. Ah. Much better he sit next me, rather than representative of capitalist philosophy. Oh, sorry to disappoint you, Suli, but uh, Boris has decided to change horses. Oh, blimey. Is he a Russian cowboy? <laughs> no, Ali, I mean that he's decided that he prefers our democratic way of life to the Russian regime. He's a defector. He's traitor, but a Ling Russian embassy. That will do no such thing, Suli. Uh, Boris has made his decision, and after the class, Miss Courtney will inform the Home Office, who will then decide whether he can stay. Why he wish to leave Lasher? Well, I haven't the faintest idea. Hey, maybe he's a spy. Yeah, yeah. a double agent. Maybe Suli is right. We send him back where he came from. Yeah. He should be interrogated. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, well, he... Sit down, everybody. Quiet, please. Yeah, sit down. I'm sure that Boris has a perfectly good reason for wishing to remain here. Boris? Dada? Would you come out here, please? Yeah. Juan? Yes. Does Boris speak any English? Ah, uh, I teach him a little. Oh, good. Why do you wish to leave Russia? Por favor. Mm. <laughs> I see you speak English as well as Juan does. Huh? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, why do you wish to leave Russia? Nieponi <laughs> Mayo. Well, uh, come over here. Russia? Da da. England. Da, da. Why you leave Russia to stay in England? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a woman. Da, da. <laughs> Is this true, one? Si, si. Last night in bar, he meets beautiful girl. He has fallen, how you say, yeah? Heels over head. <laughs> head over heel? <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Boris. You can sit down now. Huh? Uh, sit down. Uh, dada. <laughs> Vive l'amour, Boris. <laughs> well, Suli, I'm sure even you wouldn't wish to stand in the way of true love. Plural should be for state, not individual. Yes, well, not this side of the Iron Curtain. Now, where were we up to in the alphabet? Uh, which letter have we got to? P. P. Well, then, suppose you give me a word beginning with P. Propaganda. Propaganda. <laughs> As used by decadent Western world to spread rice about glorious peace-rubbing Chinese. Ah. Surely, do you have to make a political speech every time you answer a question? Yes. <laughs> Chairman Mao, he said, it is duty of those who can see to guide Brian to right or truth. 
The eight points for attention are as follows. Do not damage clocks. Do not take liberties with women. Do not take liberties with women. you sit down? Thank you. That'll do. Ali, you give me a word beginning with Q. Q? Yes. Go on. Q. Yes. Come on. Q. Ali, will you give me a word beginning with the letter Q? Oh, blimey. I'm giving it to you three times already. Q. Like bus stop Q. Oh, I'm sorry. Well done. Taro. Ah. Asa. Radio. Good. Ranjit. S. Eskimo. Now, Eskimo begins with an E. Thousand apologies. Think of a word that describes you. Stupid. You <laughs> Stupid, you half-eaten Pakistani papadam. Don't you call me Pakistani papadam, you browned off chapati. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Sit down, the both of you. Juan, T. Por favor. T. Ha. T. Ha, T. No, 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 I don't mean it's time for the tea break. Uh, por favor. Never mind, sit down. No, but... No, about cafe. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, what, uh, what is it this time, Gladys? There's another one turned up. Another what? A Rusky. Oh. I've shown him into Miss Courtney's office. I am Captain <laughs> Ivan Ivan. Are you? Da. And you are Mrs... I am Miss Courtney. <laughs> A fine woman like you has no husband? No. Ah, I am understanding. You prefer to have the lovers. Certainly not. <laughs> now, will you please get to the point? I have reason to believe that one of my men is here. <laughs> really? Oh, come, Mrs. Corby. Miss. Miss. <laughs> we both know he's here. He must come back to the ship and return to Russia. That is for him to decide. Enter. Wish to see me, Miss Courtney? This is Captain Ivan Ivanovich, Mr. Brown, our English teacher. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. <laughs> oh, may I welcome you to England? You and your compatriots are perfectly safe here. Don't have to go back to Russia if you don't want to. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Yes? The captain has no wish to stay here. He has come to take back the other person. Ah, but you can't do that. Why not? Well, uh, he doesn't want to go back. He's uh, met this girl, you see, and he, they want to get married. No, it's impossible. We are only being here for the one night. Yeah, well, it was love at first sight. No, no people do not fall in love at first sight. <laughs> English people do. I tell you, he cannot be getting an English wife. Why not? Because he already has a Russian one. <laughs> Saying that he's already married. No, 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 do Anastasia. Well, this puts an entirely different complexion on the matter. I'm afraid we have no alternative but to return your roving shipmate. Will you see to it, Mr. Brown? Very well. <laughs> you are a woman of great perception as well as being beautiful. Oh, thank you. You are reminding me so much of your great national figure. Oh, yes, people have said I resemble the Queen. Yeah, 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 no. no, no, not the Queen. British Bulldog! Juan, <laughs> <laughs> I ask you the question. What is the name for a group of cows? Por favor. Hey, come on, you know what I'm saying. You might have fooled Professor, you're not to fool me, huh? Now, what's the name for a group of cows? I don't know. A herd of cows. Por favor. Herd the cows. Sure, I heard a cow. <laughs> Santa Maria, herd the cows is a lot of cows. <laughs> and you speak a lot of bulls. <laughs> right. Thank you, Giovanni. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I tell you, Professor, I don't know how you put up with all these foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Boris. Da da. Yeah, well, there's a set of friend of yours outside. Uh, he's waiting to take you back to the ship, Captain Ivanovich. Nyet, nyet. Yeah, not nyet, nyet, da, da. He's told me <laughs> all about Anastasia. Anastasia? Mm. For your general information, Anastasia is Boris's wife back in Russia. Oh, <laughs> yeah. To the randy old Cossack. <laughs> you will permit me, Mr. Brown? It's all yours, Captain. Boris Borisovich. 
Голубчик. Идите сюда! Как же вам не сюда? Ты со мной пойдёмте, но не разрешу. Тебя не сюда! Как же вам не сюда? Right, now come along. Pay attention. We've had enough interruptions for one evening. Which letter in the alphabet were we up to? Ah, me. T. T. Good. Well, one. Tabaco. Tabaco. Good. Uh, Max. You. Me? No, 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 no. No, the letter U. Umbrella. Uh, yes, good, but uh, not umbrella. Umbrella. Hockey. <laughs> Anna. V. Vent. Vent. Yes, good, as in air vent. Nein, as in I vent to wash my hands. <laughs> no, Anna, those, ver those words begin with W. I want a word beginning with V. What instrument does Yehudi Menuhin play? A fiddle. Go <laughs> a violin. V. Violin, natürlich, ja. Good. Uh, Daniel, W. W for war. Good. W for when. Oh. <laughs> I only wanted one word, Daniel. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. What is it this time, Gladys? He's back. Who's back? Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> Wants to see you. Giovanni, would you... Uh... <laughs> ah, Captain, you wanted to see me? Uh, yes, Mr. Brown, could I... Could I please have a word with you? Yes. Yeah. Will you please speak on my behalf? Will you, will you do this one thing for me? Well, please. I tell please. You, please leave it to me. Thank you, Mr. Baldeck. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Miss Courtney, we've got a bit of a problem. Captain Ivanovich is outside. Oh, don't tell me his compatriot has escaped. Oh, no, Boris is safely on his way back to the ship. Well, then why has the captain returned? Well, he wants to defect. You see, he says, like Boris, that he's fallen heels over head in love. Oh, these foreigners are impossible. I tell him to go away. His infatuations have nothing to do with us. Yeah, well, I'm afraid this one has. You see, he says uh, he's fallen in love with you. <laughs> A little English bulldog. You must love me. I am loving you, Mrs. Garfield. Mrs. 